Je ne sais pas is I don't know in French, but you're very likely to hear it like this. Je sais pas. Je sais pas. So today we are going to look at phrases and see and hear what they actually sound like in French. As always, there is a support guide available with this lesson, so click on the join button if you want access to my awesome live lessons and support guide. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok too. There is and there are is il y a in French, but you're very likely to hear it like that. Ya. Yeah. Quite simply. Ya. Yeah. And if you wanted to put that in the negation, there isn't or there aren't, you would say il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas. But you would hear it most likely like yapa, yapa. And the same for there isn't any more of it. For example, we would say il n'y en a plus. Il n'y en a plus. However, you will hear it like that. Il en a plus. Il y en a plus. Little words such as something, for example, something is quelque chose. Even that is contracted in French. We would say quelque chose, quelque chose. And somewhere, quelque part, we would say quelque part, quelque part. And the same with sometimes, quelquefois. You would hear it like quelquefois, quelquefois. So what about please, for example, please. Now we know that it is s'il te plaît. If you talk to someone you know really well, s'il te plaît. Well, you're very likely to hear it like this. S'il te plaît, s'il te plaît. And the same for because. Now, because in French is parce que. But you're not going to hear it like this in a conversation. You're very likely to hear it like parce que. Parce que. So, for example, in a sentence you want to say, I eat because I am hungry, you would say, je mange parce que j'ai faim. Je mange parce que j'ai faim. Je mange parce que j'ai faim. That's what you're most likely to hear. What about I love you? I love you is je t'aime, je t'aime. In French, we may say je t'aime, je t'aime. And the same for I don't love you anymore, je ne t'aime plus would become je t'aime plus, je t'aime plus. See what we are doing? We are contracting everything. So the most amusing one is I am, je suis, je suis, because it will become je suis, je suis. And when it comes for I am not, je ne suis pas, it would be je suis pas, je suis pas. <laughs> And so what happens when you say I know, je sais, je sais, it would be je, je. But I don't know, je ne sais pas, would become je sais pas, je sais pas. What about you are, tu es, tu es. Well, you are in French would be t'es, t'es. And the same for you are not, tu n'es pas. It will be t'es pas, t'es pas. And you are late, tu es en retard would become t'es en retard, t'es en retard. Do you see the difference between tu es en retard and t'es en retard? We are using the same words, but we are pronouncing them very fast and all contracted. What about I want? Je veux. Je veux. So try to say that the French way, the real life French way. It would be je veux. Je veux. And I don't want. Je ne veux pas would become je veux pas. Je veux pas. And the same for I will do. Je ferai. Je ferai. In French, you may likely to hear it like this. Je ferai. Je ferai. Okay. And the same for I won't do. Je ne ferai pas becomes je ferai pas. Je ferai pas. So for phrases such as I can is je peux. So you can imagine how we would say it in French, in a French conversation context. Je peux. Je peux. So if you wanted to say I can't, Je ne peux pas, it would be, je peux pas, je peux pas. Now, another interesting one is when asking question. You want to say, what's happening? Qu'est-ce qu'il se passe? Qu'est-ce qu'il se passe? Well, what's happening would become, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Qu 
qu'est-ce qui se passe And what did you say What did you say Qu'est-ce que tu as dit So trying to say that the fast way, qu'est-ce que tu as dit Qu'est-ce que tu as dit So we're missing a few hurdles here. Qu'est-ce que tu as dit Quite, you know, straightforward. And what about, what did you do last weekend? Or what did you do this weekend? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce weekend? You're very likely to hear it like this. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce weekend? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce weekend? I know I can imagine you trying to follow and trying to say it as fast as I can, but it's a matter of practice. Being aware of what these sentences, you know, sound like in real French, French is very important. Now, another one could be, do you need something? Do you need something? Tu as besoin de quelque chose? Tu as besoin de quelque chose? Tu as besoin de quelque chose? <laughs> Other little words you might be aware of and very, um, it's very important because they don't sound like they, they are. For example, OK is d'accord. It is OK as well, but we say d'accord. But French people are very likely to say d'accord this way. D'ac, d'ac, quite simply. And not d'accord, but d'ac. And the same goes for see you later, à tout à l'heure, à tout à l'heure. You're very likely to hear it à tout. So we're missing the, missing the à l'heure uh, completely and we're just adding the à tout. See you later. And the same goes for see you later as in see you later, à plus tard, à plus tard. Now, interestingly enough, this one is à plus, à plus. Quite often you're going to hear it like this, à plus, instead of à plus tard. Another of couple of sentences I'd like to finish with is I must go. Il faut que j'y aille. Il faut que j'y aille. See, I can't even say it slowly because my natural instinct is to say faut que j'y aille. Faut que j'y aille. Completely different. Il faut que j'y aille becomes faut que j'y aille. And the same for I must go using devoir to have, uh, to must. Je dois I y aller, I must go. Je dois y aller becomes je dois y aller. <laughs> je dois y aller. So what would be nice is for you to watch this video again because it's really hard to absorb what these sentences are really uh, actually uh, and how they are actually pronounced in a French context with French people, that is. Uh, but it will help you. It will help you to know what they actually sound like. So you're prepared and say, well, Shippa, I've heard that. It means je ne sais pas, for example. And dac means d'accord. So it means okay. That's it for me. Remember to subscribe and leave a comment if you know other uh, little sentences like that that sound completely different when pronounced in real life. Au revoir, à bientôt, subscribe to all of our, you know, TikTok and Instagram and uh, leave a comment and I shall see you soon. Bye bye. Bisous, bisous.